You suffered significant injury because you believe a doctor did something wrong to you during the course of your treatment. But before you decide to start a lawsuit, you're waiting to go back to work. Before you start a lawsuit, you're waiting to see if your injuries heal up. Before you start a lawsuit, you're waiting to see whether the doctor's going to apologize to you. Would you like to learn whether these are valid, good reasons to wait before starting your lawsuit? Come join me as I share with you this great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law here in the state of New York. Now, you can wait as long as you want to decide whether or not you're going to go forward with evaluating a possible medical malpractice case here in the state of New York. But no matter what excuse you have for waiting, there's one key thing you have to keep in the back of your mind. The longer you wait, the greater the chances are that you will risk losing the opportunity to bring a lawsuit against the person or hospital that you believe caused you harm. Now, what do I mean by that? Every single case in New York, especially a medical malpractice case, has a definitive time limit in which you are permitted to bring a lawsuit seeking compensation against the person who you believe caused you harm, the person who was careless, the doctor who violated the basic standards of medical care. And if you go beyond that time period, and now you finally decide, hey, I want to bring a lawsuit now, your time may be expired. The time in which you have to bring a lawsuit may have lapsed. So now, even though you want to bring a case, because you waited such a long period of time, you no longer have the ability to come in and bring a lawsuit. Your time will have gone. And there's nothing that I or anybody else in the state of New York would be able to do to help you. You should also know that there are different time limits associated with different types of hospitals. And the bottom line is, I know you don't want to rush things and you want things to heal up. You're waiting for the doctor to apologize. And by the way, that's never going to happen. And you're also waiting to go back to work and try and resume your normal activities. By the time you actually do those things, the time that you have to file a lawsuit may be gone. So the time to act is now, shortly after the matter happened. You cannot delay. The longer you wait, the greater risk there is that you will lose that opportunity to ultimately file a lawsuit against the people that you believe caused you harm. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you to give you an insight and an understanding that there are specific time limits for every single case in a medical malpractice case here in New York. And if you don't act on that information immediately, you may risk losing out. You know, I realize you're watching this because you have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter happened here in New York and you do have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. This is something I do every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.